Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Veterans Day, the annual Veterans yes. Day lighted parade. Goes down through the uh, streets and here in downtown Douglasville. I'm TJ. And I'm Tiffany. And we will be your hosts uh, for the parade. We wish you could have been here. Yes. But we're filming it so that you can see what's going on. You can watch it on DCV, DCTV 23 anytime. <laughs> yes, that's right. So, um, Without further ado, Tiffany, what's going on here? Well, the Veterans Day Lighted Parade is the parade with a purpose. The purpose is to salute America. Every parade entry is required to salute the U.S. flag, active military, reserves, and or veterans. No self-promotion is allowed in the parade. The Douglas County Veterans Day Lighted Parade is the only known nighttime Lighted Veterans Day Parade in the nation. We light up the night to show our pride. That's Douglas right. County has provided small handheld flags to citizens lining the streets so that the military and the veterans in the parade will see old glory being proudly waved to them as they go by. Jones Wynn Funeral Home staff went ahead of the parade line up to distribute the flags as their salute to the veterans. So I guess the last thing to talk about is what is Veterans Day? It's the anniversary of the signing of the armistice, which ended World War I and the fighting between the Allied nations and Germany in 1918. Each year, Veterans Day is observed on November 11th and more specifically on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, which is 11, 11, 11. <laughs> yeah. And we here in Douglas County observe the national holiday with the annual Veterans Day Lighted Parade. And speaking of, I think I hear it starting. Oh, Those exciting. motorcycles? Yes. <laughs> Got city police. The 15th annual Veterans Day Lighted Parade starts off with the Buffalo Soldiers Motorcycle Club of Temple. They ride their motorcycles to represent the historic Buffalo Soldiers. <laughs> They're loud. Of the U.S. Army's 9th and 10th Cavalry. Next are the Patriot Guard and the American Legion Riders, along with AMVET Riders as well. The cyclists escort follow soldiers as an honor guard and serve to assist the families of fallen soldiers with whatever needs they have. City of Douglasville coming in after the motorcycles leading the parade showing their support for the veterans. That's right, protecting and serving. Yeah, we're on their home turf. That's right. <laughs> <clears throat> We got a nice four-wheel drive coming in. That's right. It's very festive for the Veterans Day holiday. <clears throat> they got the Lee Greenwood blasting. Yes. We're all proud to be Americans. And just behind them, we've got our opening banner of the parade. Yes, and that banner presents the theme of the parade with a purpose. That's right. All banners tonight are carried by the students from the Douglas County High School DECA Club. The presentation of our nation's colors is presented by the U.S. Navy Sea Cadets Warrior Division. The cadets celebrate future active and retired military service members. Kids aged 10 to 17 learn about Navy life and how to love the motto, honor, courage, commitment. All right. So they are followed by the Citizens Law Enforcement Academy, or CLEA. They participate in or volunteer for many events each year. Many of the members are former military service members. And they help out with a lot of events. Yes, very active around the county. And they're all packing. <laughs> well, want to make sure they got their permits. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure they're legit. As you can probably hear, Next is our first marching band of the parade. It's Alexander High School Cougar Marching Band. Let's listen. Yes. That's a big band. <laughs>
Very good. Gotta love having a band in a parade. Yes, yes. I mean, and we have four tonight. Wow, so that's gonna be very entertaining. Four of the five high schools. And they got some really good drum lines. I love what I love. Following the Alexander Band is the Alexander JROTC. JROTC stands for Junior Reserves Officers Training Corps. Their exhibition rifle team will execute a routine in honor of our men and women in uniform. Were you in JROTC? I was not. I was. My senior year, Air Force. <laughs>
So that's the first of the JROTCs. We've got several more. Yeah, they did a great job. Next up is the elected officials. We have Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones. She's the chairman of the Board of, Ed Board of Commissioners. We also have Mayor Rochelle Robinson. Two lovely ladies. Yes, traveling in the same yes. vehicle. Yes. City, county, working together. Exactly. And they are followed by the Roses Banner. Douglas County honors and remembers the 49 citizens who have been killed in action since the county's founding in 1870. This covers World Wars I, II, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, and conflicts in between. 49 long stem red roses are being carried in their memory by members of the Town and Country Garden Club of Douglas County. After the parade, the roses will be delivered to the American Legion Post. The Town and Country Garden Club celebrates over 60 years of service to the Douglasville area. That's amazing. Yes. 60 years. That's a long time. <laughs> and right behind them, as you can hear, Douglas County High School's Marching Tiger Band. Yes. The JRTC is Mr. Alan A. Crosby, who is walking proudly as a 20-year U.S. Army veteran. Thank you so much for your service, Mr. Crosby. We have veteran organizations and veterans banner coming up. We have Paul Bunch, who is a veteran in his 1964 GMC pickup truck. Wow. Honoring all USA military past and present. Nice. <clears throat> Up next is the Chapel Hill High School FBLA, which stands for Future Business Leaders of America. They show their support today for our U.S. military service members. And the AMVETS are coming up post 118 in Lithia Springs. They want to inspire what it means to be a veteran using the symbol songs and pledges that define American patriotism. And then coming up is the Chapel Hill High School in JROTC, which stands for the Navy's branch of the JROTC program. The purpose of the JROTC is to instill a value of citizenship, service to the United States, personal responsibility, and a sense of accomplishment. I think they're going to perform. Let's watch. Now they have a huge group. That is a big JROTC. Chapel Hill. All right. Represent. Great group. And now Veterans Helping Veterans Foundation. They're a national nonprofit organization which helps our nation's heroes with VA disability claims, filing, emergency financial assistance, and promotes advocacy on mental illness within our veteran community. They're doing some great things for our veterans. Yes, they are. And following them is two of the county's Connect Douglas buses. The Connect Douglas shuttle service was launched about five months ago and has four routes to the important locations around the county. For more information about the program, go to connectdouglas.com. And 
And now the American Legion Post 145, they're located on West Bankhead Highway in Douglasville. Since its charter in 1935, the Frank Doris Post has been welcoming veterans from all branches of the armed forces. The post enables veterans to continue serving your God, country, and community. Okay. All righty. And following him, we've got a member of the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, Elmer Horn, and he is in an Andy Griffith style car. Isn't That's that right. cool? That is the Mayberry car. That is the, that Ma is the Mayberry My car. My dad is a huge Andy Griffith fan. Yeah. I have got to, I've got to, he's got to see that. Now that belongs to Karen Emery, the uh, widow of Captain Herb Emery. That was Captain oh, Herb Emery's wow. car. Wow. Okay. Well, I, my dad's yeah. going to be great. I've got, he, he's going to want to see that. Yeah. <laughs> We have our active military and reserves banner coming through. And first behind the banner is our U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary Flotilla. Say that five times fast. Well, 22, <laughs> Lake Alatoona. The Auxiliary is the Coast Guard's all-volunteer organization tasked to promote recreational boating safety. Flotilla 22 serves Lake Alatoona with public education, boating classes, free vessel exams, and safety patrols. All right, and now we've got more music. Here's the Lithia Springs High School Marching Band. More music, more music. I like the way each band has different styles. Yeah. Have you noticed that? the band is the Lithia Springs JROTC. It's great to see all of these students with an interest in the military. It provides discipline and encourages honor, respect, and integrity. And oddly enough, I just went to their ball last week. It really? was a great, great event. They had the, honoring the 244th year of the Marine Corps. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Coming up, yeah. here's the sons of the sons and daughters of the American Revolution. When they go, when they are in the July Fourth parade, they uh, burn up. Wow! But in this parade, they're perfectly. I'm comfortable. sure they're feeling good tonight. Uh, let's see. Our citizens are coming through now. We always invite citizens to be a part of the parade. Yes. We've got the Douglas County Sheriff's Department, Deputy Aaron Smith and his canine partner, Cooper. Their relatively new partnership, Cooper is a bloodhound and has been and will be used to track lost or missing persons. So much Come on, Cooper. You can do it. He's the cutest. We had him uh, on one of our shows recently. Oh, he's very, very cute. He's done walking. Yeah, he's over it. <laughs> Too many people. Oh, they're going to get their picture taken. Oh, So good. So we got sweet. to pet him and take pictures with him. Oh, he's the cutest. I just want to take him home <laughs> with me. He's a little camera shy. I see. <laughs> All right. One of my favorite groups, Girl Scouts Troop. 10442, showing their support for all the veterans of our country and across the nation. Very spirited. <laughs> and one of the DCTV 23 staff, her daughter is in that troop. Oh, cool. And she may be riding along with them. She was helping with the parade <clears throat> at the beginning, but I think she was going to jump on with them. Well, I'll tell you, they've got a great float. And next, Fortress Storage. They support all veterans who serve this great country and thank them for their service by participating in this great parade. And that's a big old truck. Yes, it is. And a very nice Camaro following. <clears throat> Alrighty, and following Fortress Storage is 
the Cub Scout Pack 1990 from Douglasville, and they are proud to show their patriotism and respect for all veterans. Oh, okay. All righty. And then next up is Sunmocom Mobile, better known as Cricket Wireless. Their local team is marching together tonight to showcase their veterans' pride. I guess they got tired and got all got in the vehicle. Yeah. So they're definitely not marching. You know what? You are 100% right. But that I think, would be me. I would be I, in the car. I think they're marching in spirit. Yes. <laughs> I thought I'm and following cricket is the Knights of Columbus. Since the turn of the century, members of the fourth degree of the Knights of Columbus, the patriotic degree, have combined their Catholic heritage with their love of country and have participated in and sponsored a variety of patriotic programs and activities. This is the Mother Teresa Assembly 2562. Okay. Well, following them, we've got Cub Scout Troop 1282. So we've got another great group of Cub Scouts. behind them, we have the Midway Community Resource Center. They strive to become familiar with residents to nurture their hopes, self-value, and ability to succeed. Their tagline defines their mission, love and action by helping, connecting, and serving. A really great community group. All right, and then been there, Dump That is a dumpster company that believes in honoring our veterans. They are displaying Memorial Bend for 46 Marines and two sailors from the 3rd Battalion, 25th Marines that lost their lives in 2005 during Operation Iraqi Freedom. They sponsor September Saturdays as well. They're very involved. Now we have the uh, U.S. United pageant, including member Sherry Davis, who is in a U.S. United, who is a U.S. United Lifetime Queen. Kaylin Dixon, Junior Miss West Georgia. Logan Loveless, Supreme Mr. West Georgia. Hmm. That's quite a title. All righty, and next we are followed by the Cub Scout Pack 39, showing their patriotism and honoring veterans by glowing in this lighted parade. I think. Douglas County Girl Scouts, Twin Pass Service Unit Girl Scouts, Greater, Man Greater Atlanta serves more than 41,000 girls and 17,000 adult members in 34 counties. All righty, and here is Cub Scout Pack 39, showing their patriotism and honoring veterans by glowing in this lighted parade. We always have lots of Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts. Yes, in the parade. great groups. Is that a frog out there? I think it is. That I think must that be Keep Douglas County Keep Beautiful. Keep Douglas County Beautiful, a great organization that works very hard to keep our county clean, beautiful, and just a great place to live. And a fantastic logo. A fantastic <laughs> logo designed by a fantastic guy. And I also heard they had a really great executive director. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I heard that too. Uh, external affairs coordinator to Bria Cobb driving the Keep Douglas County Beautiful uh, van along with Dougie, Keep Douglas County Beautiful's mascot that you saw walking ahead of the van. All right, and then after that, you've got Boy Scouts of America out of the First United Methodist Church of Douglasville, Troop 228. And last but not least of the bands, definitely oh. not least. New Manchester High School Marching Redcoats. I think we're gonna get a show.
Now they're the only group that I've seen that actually has a major wreck. I don't think I've ever seen a car that clean before in my life. So you got the red, white, and blue. Yes. The, the lights. I don't think I've ever seen that. Awesome. And now we have Super Quick Towing and Recovery. The owner is a veteran of Vietnam, served in Vietnam, and uh, also they employ several service members. All righty. Well, looks like we're up to the closing banner. Um, yep. it, yeah, it takes a lot of work to pull this together. We would like to thank the parade volunteers, the DECA Club from Douglas County, all the entries, and the DCTV23 crew. I think they're an amazing crew with yep. an amazing manager. Pull it, yeah, they pull, pull it off every year. <laughs> yeah, some kind of way. <laughs> yeah, you know, putting together a parade like this is, is difficult. There's a lot of logistics mm. involved, and I want to specifically thank uh, Department Head Rick Martin mm -hmm. and uh, Melanie Monroe, who yes. helped at the front end, and also my lovely wife, Amber Jaglinski, who stepped up this year yes. to manage the, the lineup of the parade. Well, and you know looks what like they she say. did a great job. Behind every great woman is a man. <laughs> I think you got that backwards, but I, I will definitely take it. <laughs> well, TJ, I think you and your, your department did a great job. This is a wonderful parade. Thank and you. So thank you so much for having me again this year. Maybe I'll make the cut next year. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And uh, so, you know, share this video. If you're watching it right now, share it with everyone. Yes. This is one of my favorite events that we do, uh, supporting our military service members. It's a celebration, uh, and it's a time to really recognize what yes. we have in America, freedom and opportunity that other countries don't have yes that's true and I, I say freedom isn't free and i thank all of our veterans and everyone for just making america great yes and with that go usa go usa <laughs>